And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Corey Coco Goff, the future of tennis, taking on big game. Jesse P., Jessica Pagula, fellow American, the number one and two ranked Americans. And, of course, the top American doubles powerhouse. I don't know who made this draw. Not really excited, guys. But let's start with Coco Goff now again. And I think the experts did a good job of covering this early in the match here. Coco Golf is getting a bad rap. People are forgetting that she's only 19 and she's still growing into her body and her game is still developing. Yes, a lot of people are putting a lot of pressure on her. And this discussion was brought up in, in the, um, the pre-match warm-up. Yes, there's too much unnecessary pressure on Coco that people forget she's only 19. She just turned 19, right? And they forget how much she's accomplished at an early age while you take a look at a late bloomer like Jessica Pakula, who's amazing, by the way. But she's 10 years older than Coco. 10 years older. Imagine, uh, take a look at Coco at the age of 29. How many slams will she have? I, I personally say at least five. I think Coco's going to finish with probably seven to 10 slams during her career, much like a Venus Williams. I see Coco as, as, as a summer Venus Williams. Now, of course, Venus at this age was already winning slams but the reality here is i think coco is a really solid player and she's a favorite to win this match my pick is for coco to win the first set on the money line coco's been coming out very fast i don't think pagula is gonna be able to keep up with coco in this first set pagula hasn't really looked good lately to be honest with you i mean yesterday she struggled and you saw what coco did to jody Parage. now these two players they're doubles partners guys they also have a chance here at the, to make a doubles run there will be a guaranteed american in the final here as madison keys awaits in the semifinal. this is her first grass semifinal in a while she won this tournament in 2014 but jessica pagula coco golf guys they're getting ready to, to serve off and i do think coco I do think she will have a deep run at Wimbledon. I think she's finally pulling it together. Uh, Pierre Reba, guys, she's got a new coach, Spanish coach. That's Kim Wen Jong's. Uh, he worked with her for a while. And we all know Kim Wen's an amazing server, probably trying to get that serve going again for Coco. I mean, I feel that's a weapon she had early in her career. It just fizzled out, like, what's going on with the serve there? So I think they're going to work on the serve and the forehand, the two things that Kim Wen Jong is really good at. Um, but me personally, if I were coaching Coco, I think she's being too nice to her opponents. I think she's being way, way too respectful to her opponents. Coco doesn't really start to get aggressive in the rallies until her opponent gives it to her. And that's got to stop. Coco's got to be a little bit more aggressive, much like an Igas Fiantex. She's got to start going for these winners early early in the rally. We know Coco's a, a, a pretty good shot maker, right? Top 10 backhand. She can go deep rally. She does it all the time. But I feel Coco's got to get more aggressive early in the rallies like she did yesterday with Jody Braj. And she's got to mix up the net play with tougher opponents. I just feel she's waiting for opponents to attack her. And she's really playing defensive a lot of times, and that needs to stop. Jessica Pagula, guys, let's get it going. She is actually down here on serve early, love 30. Can Coco get the break? My pick is for Coco to win the first set on the money line. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned for more tennis coverage.